It's time to play some of your family's favorite Hasbro games in a whole new way. The games are big, the fun is contagious, and the winning is just moments away. It's time to play Hasbro, the game show. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hasbro, the game show. Oh, lots of energy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the only cruise ship game show to feature larger-than-life Hasbro games with fantastic prizes provided by Carnival Cruise Lines and Hasbro. Take a seat, everybody. Take a seat. My name is Butch Begovich. I am your cruise director and the host of Hasbro, the game show. But today, you are all actually the stars because in just a few moments' time, I will be coming down into our live studio audience and picking contestants for our first big game. Now today, our contestants are either gonna come from this side of Ovation Studios, which is the blue team, or this side of Ovation Studios, which is the red team. Both teams energetic today, both teams energetic. Your ultimate goal is to get on this stage and to make it right over here at our grand finale at the Monopoly Electronic Banking Machine. Let me hear you say, ooh. She is excited to give away some prizes today because if you win a game on this stage, you will be picking one of these Monopoly electronic banking cards. Let me hear you say, ah. ah. Each of these cards has on it an iconic Monopoly game piece token, and each contains within it a secret Monopoly point value that we have randomly selected for each of these cards before the start of this afternoon's show. Today, win a game and pick the card with the highest value, and you will win this. It's a fun-filled collection of some of your family's favorite Hasbro games. Enjoy Operation, Sorry, Connect 4 Launchers, and the Monopoly Electronic Banking Edition. You'll also receive Simon Flash and Yahtzee Flash. We'll also throw in the complete set of Hasbro The Game Show Qualifier Prizes, including Connect 4, Run on the Run, an electronic Simon Carabiner, a mini version of Operation, plus three fantastic card games, Monopoly Deal, Sorry Revenge, and Yahtzee Hands Down. Put fun in your family game night with Hasbro. Well, what a great prize pack. Who wants to win that carnival prize pack? Well, here's what I can guarantee that somebody today in Ovation Studios is going home with all of that and more. But first, you're going to have to make your way on stage to play one of our big games. And in order to get on stage for our first big game, you're going to have to show me some skills in the Hasbro game of categories. Here's how it works. I'm about to give you a category and a corresponding letter. It is up to you to come up with something within my category with the letter that I give you. So. For example, if my category today was Carnival Cruise Line's newest fun ship and my category letter was B, you would say? B. It's that easy. Now, today, I am not necessarily looking for the first folks to raise their hand. But what I am looking for is energy, fun, and people who really want to win that Carnival prize pack. <laughs> The only thing that I ask during the selection process is that you keep the aisleways completely clear because I'm going to need four people from each of our teams for our first big game, and I'm going to start by choosing from the red team. Red team, take a look up at the screen because this is your first category. It is loud things, and I am looking for loud things that begin with the letter P. Loud things that begin with the letter P. I'm looking for energy, red team. Wild and crazy energy. Just like that. That's the kind of energy. You got to come to me. I choose you. You got to come to me. You got to come to me. She got. She's like a deer in headlights. I chose her. Tell me your name. Allison. Allison, where do you come from? Uh, Canada. Allison comes from Canada. Big country. Do you want to claim a province, Allison? Uh, Alberta. Alberta. All right. Allison from Alberta. A loud thing that begins with the letter P. A plane is definitely loud. Allison, you're the first member of the red team. Go see Brittany right there. I'm looking for loud things that begin with the letter P. This young man right here thinks he is a loud thing that begins with the letter P. Tell me your name and where you come from. Jack D. Giovanni from Connecticut. Jack from Connecticut. Jack, a loud thing that begins with the letter P. Pig. A pig. You think a pig is loud? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very loud. 
I'm gonna trust ya. Jack, go see Brittany, you're a part of the red team. Loud things that begin with the letter P. Loud things that begin with the letter P. I'm looking for wild and crazy energy. She's stuck. You were stuck in the middle of the road. Tell me your name and where you come from. My name is Crystal. I'm from Orlando, Florida. Crystal from Orlando, Florida. A loud thing that begins with the letter P. People. People are loud. <laughs> Especially today at Hasbro the Game Show. Crystal, get on stage as a member of this team. Loud things that begin with the letter P. Tell me your name and where you come from. Freddie, New York. Freddie from New York! <laughs> Freddie from New York, a loud thing that begins with the letter P. Phone! A phone definitely can be loud. Freddie, walk on stage with me. You are gonna be the last person of this red team. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for the red team? <laughs> all the way up here, Freddie, all the way up here. Blue team, I can't have a competition without four of you. I'm looking for energy, blue team. And blue team, this is your category right here. Your category is sports, and I'm looking for sports or sports-related anything that begin with the letter L. Sports or sports-related anything that begin with the letter L. Tell me your name and where you come from. I'm Kelly, I'm from Erie, Pennsylvania. Kelly from Pennsylvania. Sports or sports related thing that begin with the letter L. Linebacker. Linebacker, Kelly, get on stage as a member of this blue team. This. We're gonna talk to this young man right up here, right up here, right up here. Tell me your name and where you come from. Anthony DiGiovanni from Connecticut. Can you tell me your name again? Anthony. Anthony, Anthony, turn around here. Sports that begin, or sports related to anything that begin with the letter L. Lacrosse. Lacrosse, stay right here. You're a part of the blue team. Looking for wild and crazy folks. The gentleman in the yellow jumping up and down. Yes, you, sir. Yes, you, sir. You got to come to me. You got to come to me. Tell me your name and where you come from. Guy from Montreal. Guy from Montreal, Canada. Sports that begin with the letter L. Lawn hockey. Long hockey. Lawn. Lawn hockey. Is that a thing? Yes, well, for the summer. Only in Canada. Get on stage, Sky. I got one more spot. One more spot. Somebody's giving you some. She doesn't want those. You're so excited. Tell us your name and where you come from. I'm Tammy from San Antonio, Texas. Tammy from San Antonio. Sports or sports related that begins with the letter L? Love as in the tennis score. That is very creative. Tammy, walk on stage with me. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our blue team. We have our red team. And now it's time to play Connect Four Basketball. Teams, this is the original game of four in a row. In just a moment, you will each take turns throwing these balls into Carnival Cruise Line's oversized Connect Four wall, just like this. Ooh, number five. All right, thank you, Brittany, thank you. Your goal is to simply get four in a row, either vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. The team that does that first is gonna be the winner of our game this afternoon. But teams, I want you to know that there is a lot of strategy involved in today's game, because not only are you going for four in a row, but the other team is as well. So you might need to give up one of your shots to block the other team from doing so. Red team, do you understand the game? Blue team, do you understand the game? Ovation Studios, are you ready to cheer on your teams this afternoon? Then let's play Connect Four Basketball. Up first is Allison from the red team. Allison, right on that blue dotted line, right on that blue dotted line. On the blue, it's on the floor, Allison. There you go, right there, the blue dotted line. Whenever you're ready, Allison, the board is wide open for you, wide open for you. Allison is up, and Allison is in column number three for the red team. Here comes Kelly. Kelly from the blue team. Kelly from the blue team. Kelly is up and out. It's one shot per team, one shot per team. Here comes Jack. Jack, we're looking. Jack also bounces out. 
we have Anthony. Anthony coming up here to get something started for the blue team. Anthony is up and in column number seven. Great job, Anthony. Here comes Crystal from the red team. Crystal is up. And Crystal has two in a row for the red team in column number three. All right, here comes Guy from Montreal. Four, five, or six would be good, or seven for the blue team. Here comes Freddie for the red team. Freddie bounces out. Freddie bounces out. And Tammy from San Antonio. Tammy is up and not in the board. That's okay, Tammy. A little bit of height on there. Allison is back up for the red team. Allison is in column number four. Just bounced out of column number three. Here comes Kelly, trying to make it two in a row for the blue team. Kelly is up and out, up and out. Here comes Jack at a second chance to get one in for the red team. Jack not able to connect again. Here comes Anthony. Anthony, we could really use a ball on the board for the blue team. We bounce over to column number two. Looking for four in a row. Crystal is back. Let's get some height on that Crystal. She is up. And Crystal has two in a row for the red team in column number four. Red team dominating our game today as Guy comes up trying to make something happen for the blue team. Two in a row for the blue team in column number two. Here comes Freddie. Freddie is up. And Freddie is in column number one for the red team. Column number one. Tammy, get us some height, some height on this ball and put it in column number two for us. Column number two. Tammy is up and she is bounced out. She is bounced out. Here comes Allison again. Allison, column three or column four would be good for your team. That's good for your team as well. Three in a row for the red team. Column number five. Kelly, your opportunity to block the red team in column number six. Column number six for the block. Kelly is up. And Kelly is two in a row for the blue team in column number seven. Jack, your opportunity to win it for the red team right now in column number six. Jack is up. And ladies and gentlemen, the red team is the winner of Connect Four Basketball. Blue team, we had a tough game. Come here, blue team. Nobody ever leaves Hasbro the game show empty-handed. You are all getting connect for fun on the run and some love from the blue section right down here. Thank you, Tammy and Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are, our winning team, the red team. Stay right here with me, Jack and Allison and Crystal and Freddie. All right, Red Team, for winning, you are about to pick your very own Monopoly electronic banking cards. Remember that we have randomly selected a secret mo Monopoly point total for each of these cards before the start of today's show. So choose wisely. Highest point total is going to win in our grand finale later in the game. Jack, you are up first. Choose anyone you want, Jack. Anyone you want. Jack chooses, good choice, Jack. Turn around and show everybody what you picked. He chooses the Butch card. That's my very own Monopoly game piece. Jack, come over here and see Brittany. You're on your way to Brit uh, winner's row. Here comes Allison. Allison to choose her Monopoly electronic banking card. Allison chooses herself. Turn around and show the studio audience the thimble. Allison is headed down into winner's row which is that way. Here comes Crystal to choose her Monopoly electronic banking card. All the way at the bottom, that's my favorite Monopoly piece. She picks the dog. Crystal down to winner's row. Here comes Freddy to choose his very own Monopoly electronic game piece. Freddy chooses himself the car and he's excited about it. Freddy is headed down into winner's row. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for the winners of Connect Four Basketball, the red team. Now that you've seen how easy it is to win here at Hasbro The Game Show, who wants to get on stage and pick one of these Monopoly electronic banking cards? I am going to give 10 more people the opportunity to do just that when we come right back with more Hasbro The Game Show right after this commercial break.
Okay, and we are clear. Good, everybody. Nicely done. Hey, it's Hasbro. Hasbro makes toys. What's new, Hasbro? Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head with their own cars and trailers. That's what's new. See, Mr. Potato Head has a car and boat trailer. And there's a car and shopping trailer for his wife, Mrs. Potato Head. It's such fun to do <laughs> and so easy. Back 30, 30 like seconds. This. Stand by. Take any fruit or vegetable. Just stick in eyes, then ears, and then the mouth. You can make the funniest looking people in the whole world. Potato Head people look different every time you make them. Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head with cars right, and ten, trailers come in nine, one and two dollar eight, sizes. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hasbro the Game Show. It is time to pick contestants for our next big game. And in order to get on stage for my next big game, you're going to have to show me some skills in the Hasbro game of Trivial Pursuit. Ooh. Here's how it works. I'm about to come down into the live studio audience and ask some Trivial Pursuit style questions. If you get one right, instead of winning a plastic pie wedge like you would in the board game at home, today you're going to make your way on stage to play our next big game. As always, I am looking for energy and wild fun. And for my next game, I'm looking for actually five participants from each of our teams, but due to the nature of the game, I am looking for adults only. I'm gonna start with my picks for our next big game right over here with the blue team. Blue team, this is your first Trivial Pursuit question. What holiday sparks the most greeting card sales? What holiday sparks the most greeting card sales? I'm looking for wild fun. Wild fun like this guy right here. Yes, you in the hat, in the hat. You gotta come to me, you gotta come to me as fast as you can and tell us your name and where you come from. Matt Shelton from North Carolina. Matt from North Carolina. What holiday sparks the most greeting card sales? Christmas. Is it Christmas? Matt, get on stage. You are the first member of the blue team. This is our next Trivial Pursuit question. When roasting a pig to be eaten, what fruit is typically put in the pig's mouth? What fruit is typically put in the pig's mouth? I'm looking for fun and not anger. You look angry. Come over here. I'm going to pick you before you punch me in the face because that's the face you were giving me. Come over here. Tell me your name and where you come from. I'm Penny and I'm from Michigan. Penny from Michigan. When roasting a pig to be eaten, what fruit is typically placed in the pig's mouth? Apple. Is it an apple? Penny, you are on the blue team. This is our next Trivial Pursuit question. In The Wizard of Oz, what is the Tin Man looking for from The Wizard? In The Wizard of Oz, what is the Tin Man looking for from The Wizard? What is he looking for from The Wizard? Come over here. Tell me your name. Stephanie from New Hampshire. Stephanie from New Hampshire. What is the Tin Man looking for from The Wizard? Oil can. Is he looking for an oil can? That's not what he's looking for. That's not what he's looking for. This guy knows right here. This guy knows right here. Please step into the aisle way with me. What's your name? Darren Lacoste. Daryl, where do you come from? Orlando, Florida. Daryl from Orlando. What was the wizard looking for from the wizard? A heart. Was it a heart? Daryl, on stage as a member of the blue team. This is our next Trivial Pursuit question. What Disney film features two characters accidentally kissing while sharing a bowl of spaghetti? Hi, what does your shirt say? I can't remember if I'm the good sister or the evil one. Evil. Are those your sisters over there? They are. Evil. are you good or evil? I'm good, they're the evil one. You're good, all right. Tell me your name and where you come from. I'm Tracy from North Carolina. Tracy from North Carolina. What Disney film features two characters accidentally kissing while sharing a bowl of spaghetti? Lady and the Tramp. Is it Lady and the Tramp? On stage is a member of this blue team. I have one more spot for the blue team, and actually it's a very important spot in our next big game. This next blue team member will be the blue team captain in our next game. 
and be making some very important decisions. But you know what? If you're an adult, I want you to take a seat. I'm not looking for the kids with this Trivial Pursuit question right here. What have you ordered with your hamburger if a waitress screams, paint it red? I'm looking for kids, kids, little kids, like this young lady right over here, this young lady right over here. Tell me your name. Caroline. Kennedy, where do you come from, Kennedy? Montreal. You're from Montreal, Canada. Kennedy, what have you ordered with your hamburger if the waitress screams, paint it red? Ketchup. Is it ketchup? Kennedy, go see Josh. You are the team captain of the blue team. Red team, you know the drill. I need five of you, four adults, one child, and we're gonna start with the adults with this Trivial Pursuit question right here. What candy brand is mentioned in the song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game? What candy brand? Tell me your name and where you're from. Pierre from Montreal. Pierre from Montreal, Canada. What candy brand is mentioned in the song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game? Cracker Jacks. Is it Cracker Jacks? Pierre, you are on stage as a member of the red team. This is your next Trivial Pursuit question. What was Little Miss Muffet making a meal of? Little Miss Muffet was making a meal of something. Tell me your name and where you come from. Jolene, Miami. Jolene, she's from Miami. <laughs> what was Little Miss Muffet making a meal of? Curds and whey. Was it curds and whey? Get on stage, Jolene. You are a member of this red team. This is our next Trivial Pursuit question. What pasta's name translates as little strings? Little strings. I'm looking for that crazy energy. Tell me your name and where you come from. Adriana, Oakville, Ontario. Adriana from Ontario. What pasta's name translates as little strings? Angel hair. Is it angel hair? That's not what it is. That's not what it is. This guy right here thinks that he knows. This guy right here, don't be shy. Tell me your name and where you come from. Matt from Orlando. Matt from Orlando, what pasta's name translates to little strings? I'm guessing it was spaghetti. Is it spaghetti? That's what it is, Matt. You're on stage as a member of the red team. This is our next Trivial Pursuit question. In the movie Free Willy, a young child becomes friends with what type of animal? What type of animal? Tell me your name and where you come from. Uh, Fiona, Canada. Fiona from Canada. Do, would you like to claim a province? Uh, Calgary, Alberta. Calgary, Alberta. Fiona, in the movie Free Willy, a young child becomes friends with what type of animal? Killer whale. Is it a killer whale? Get on stage, we'll take whale, that's good enough. I have one more spot and I'm looking for the kids and it comes down to this Trivial Pursuit question right here. According to the song, how many tickets to paradise did Eddie Money own? According to the song, how many tickets to paradise? Not on the furniture, please, not on the furniture. This young lady thinks that she knows right here. Tell me your name. Karina. Karina, where do you come from? Pennsylvania. From Pennsylvania. Karina, how many tickets to paradise? Two. Was it two tickets to paradise? Karina, go see Brittany right there. You are the team captain of the red team. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our red team. We have our blue team. And now it's time to play Simon Flash. We are about to find out which one of these teams can conquer the colors. Blue team, do me a favor and take one big step to your right. Red team, take one big step to your left. Teams on stage, I want you to pay attention to this small block right here in front of the stage. Audience, you can follow along in the screens to the side of the stage. Because in just a moment, that small block is going to show you a Simon Flash color sequence that looks like this. 
That was blue, red, green, and yellow. You will now notice that there is an indicator light on the top of your box that has changed to one of those four colors. It is now up to you to shuffle yourselves in that exact order, right to left. Go ahead and try it now. Blue, red, green, yellow. Blue, red, green, yellow, right to left. Blue, red, green, yellow. Blue, red, green, yellow. I believe all of our teams have it. How about a round of applause for the red team, blue team? Now our team captains, Karina and Caroline. Oh, I'm sorry, I called you Kennedy earlier. I didn't hear you. You have a very important job during today's game because during the game, you are gonna be holding these winner's buttons as Brittany is doing now. When you see your team in the correct order, you will press the winner's button as Brittany is doing right now. That will lock your team answer in just as we have done with the red team here. If they're in the correct order, the team will get a point. However, if they're in an incorrect order or if you press your button while the team is still shuffling, the opposing team will get the point. The first team to three points is going to be the winners of our game this afternoon. Red team, do you understand? Blue team, do you understand? Caroline, Karina, do you understand? Now, studio audience, you have a very special role in today's game because our teams are only going to see that sequence on this small box very quickly. You are going to see it a lot larger on the screens to the side of the stage, so they're going to need your help to get in the correct order. Are you with me, Ovation Studios? <laughs> then let's play Simon Flash! <laughs> Before we get started with today's game, we are going to make today's game a little extra fun. I don't want you to get used to the color that your boxes just changed because we are going to randomly change the color of your box each and every time after each and every sequence. Also, as the game progresses, we're going to speed up the sequence, so pay attention and good luck. This is your first Simon Flash sequence. You got to move quick. You got to move quick. You got to move as quick as possible. As quick as possible. The blue team has buzzed in. We were looking for yellow, red, green, blue. The blue team is correct for the first point. First team to three points wins. Pay attention to the small box in front of the stage. Teams on stage, audience to the screens. This is your next Simon Flash sequence. You gotta move quick. The red team has buzzed in. We were looking for yellow, red, blue, green. The red team is correct. They have tied it up. Blue team got a little flustered there. Blue team, pay attention. This is your next Simon Flash sequence. The red team is busting again. We were looking for yellow, blue, green, red. The red team is correct for two points. Blue team, you must win this point in order to stay in the game. Otherwise, the red team is the winner of Simon Flash. Pay attention. This is your next Simon Flash sequence. The red team is buzzed in. We were looking for green, yellow, blue, red. The red team is the winner of Simon Flash. Blue team, we had a good start. We couldn't keep it together. Nobody leaves Hasbro the game show empty-handed. You are all getting your very own Simon, Carabiner, and some love from the audience as they make their way down. Thank you, Tracy and Penny and Matt. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. But ladies and gentlemen, there can be only one winning team, and here they are, the red team. I do believe that is both games for the red team. Am I correct? Wow. All right, red team, for winning, you're about to pick your Monopoly electronic banking cards. Choose wisely, Pierre. You are up first, up first. Pierre already knows what he wants. Turn around and show the studio audience that Pierre picked himself the plane. You are headed back down into winner's row. Here comes Matt from Orlando to pick his Monopoly electronic banking card. Matt picks himself the golden money bag, the golden money bag. Here comes our friend Fiona from Alberta to pick her. She turns around and shows everybody she has picked the piggy bank, the piggy bank. Fiona down at the winner's row. Here comes Jolene. Jolene. 
Jolene reaches for, show everybody the iron, the iron. And Karina, you are going to be the last to pick for your team, a great team captain. She picks herself the golden train. Karina is headed down into winner's row. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the winners of Simon Flash, the red team. Folks, we are just moments, moments away from revealing the secret point totals hidden inside our Monopoly electronic banking cards. So don't go anywhere because we're going to be right back with the grand finale of Hasbro the Game Show right after this short break. Okay, and we are clear. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a good game of Hasbro the Game Show. First and foremost, I want to give a huge round of applause to the blue team for all their hard work and effort. Give yourselves a round of applause. Red team, cheer them on. You guys did a wonderful job. I love the enthusiasm. You came out strong. And remember, there are still two more episodes of Hasbro the Game Show tomorrow night, so you'll be able to join us and redeem yourselves. But now... And yes, I do like to say this. We're back in 30, 30 I'm seconds, gonna have to point out the fact the that the red team won both our games here today. Red team, where are you? Red team, you went out there, you were dedicated, and you are now sitting in winner's row. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not done yet. We still have our Monopoly banking finale coming up right after this. So 10, as everyone gets nine, their cards, I want you to cheer eight, them along. Ladies seven, and gentlemen, put those hands six, together for our five, final round. Four, three. Two. Welcome back to Hasbro the Game Show and on stage now are winners from our first big game of Connect Four Basketball are holding their Monopoly electronic banking cards and eagerly to waiting to find out the secret Monopoly point totals. Winners, in just a moment you will each take your turn in front of the Monopoly electronic banking machine by inserting your cards face up right down here at the bottom of the machine. We will then look at her eyes as they will reveal your secret point totals. Audience, you can follow along to the screens on either side of the stage. Now if you have the highest point total you will stand right here next to Brittany in the leader's circle and stay there until or if somebody can beat your card. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Monopoly Electronic Banking Machine finale. <laughs> up first, Jack. Jack, come up here. Jack picked himself the butch card. You know, if you go to the store, you know, your local Walmart or Target and you buy Monopoly, you're going to see me in there. You can move me around the board. Jack. We want to start off with some big points. Jack, come over here right in front of the Monopoly electronic banking machine. Insert your card right down there. Come and stand next to me, Jack, as we reveal how much the Butch card is worth today. 7,500 points. Jack, I want you to take your spot right here in Leader's Circle. Allison is up next. Allison, turn around your card and remind everybody that you picked the thimble. Your thimble needs to be worth more than 7,500 points in order to stay in the game. Allison is inserting that thimble right into the Monopoly electronic banking machine. And come over here with me, Allison, as we reveal that the thimble is worth a lot of points today. 19,000 points. Allison is now our new leader. And Jack, come over here. Nobody leaves Hasbro the game show empty-handed. You're already a winner. And for being so, you are going to get yourself Monopoly million deal the card game that's not it jack you're also getting a 20 dollars gift card to hasbrotoyshop.com how about a round of applause for jack as we send him back into winner's row here comes crystal who picked herself the dog i love the dog crystal my favorite monopoly piece crystal let's find out how much the dog is worth crystal is inserting the dog come over here with me crystal as we reveal that the dog today is worth 9,500 points not going to be enough to stay in leader's circle and my friend freddy hold up that card freddy freddy picked the car doesn't matter if it's upside down. There you go, Freddy. Come over here and let's find out how much the car is worth. Freddy inserts the car. Come over with me, Freddy, as we reveal that the car today is worth. Is it worth big points? 13,000 points? Not enough to stay in the game. Thank you very much, Freddy, for coming on stage with us. Here comes Pierre, our first winner from Simon Flash. He picked himself the plane. We're about to find out if the plane is worth big points. Pierre, right into the Monopoly electronic banking machine. Come over here with me, Pierre. The plane is worth today 25,500 points Pierre is our new leader great job Pierre here comes Matt Matt picked himself the money bag the money bag Matt let's find out if the money bag is worth big points today 
very dramatic, Matt. Come over here, Matt, as we reveal that the money bag is worth 17,000 points. Not enough to stay in today's game. Our friend Fiona from Alberta picked herself the piggy bank. We have Pierre standing strong with 25,500 points, which is the new total to beat. Fiona, how much is that piggy bank? Let's find out. Come over here with me, Fiona. The piggy bank today is worth 17,500 points. Not enough to stay in the game. Thank you very much, Fiona. Here comes Jolene from Miami, who picked herself the iron. The iron. Let's find out, Jolene. The iron today is worth. The iron is in. And the iron is worth today. Big points. 23,000 points. I thought you were going there, Jolene. Thank you for coming on stage with us today. And here comes our friend Karina, who picked herself the train. Karina, if your train is worth more than 25,500 points, you are the winner of Hasbro the Game Show. If not, Pierre is taking home that carnival prize pack. It's time to crown a winner. Karina, right over there in front of the machine. The golden train is in. Come over here with me, Karina, as we reveal today that your train is worth 18,500 points. Thank you, Karina. Pierre, you are the winner of Hasbro the Game Show. Pierre, come over here, because the Monopoly electronic banking machine is spinning out all of your winnings. Congratulations to Pierre and all of our winnings this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, do not miss tomorrow night at 7 p.m. as we will be taping the live episode two of Hasbro the Game Show, featuring the brand new games of Sorry Sliders and Operation Sam Duck. Then tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, we'll be playing Yahtzee Bowen and the return of Simon Flash. Have a wonderful, elegant evening here on board. My name is Butch Begovich, your cruise director and host of Hasbro The Game Show. Good night, everybody!